you know, at, at first, I think that my family were like, oh, that's kind of a weird, that's kind of, that's kind of weird, that's kind of weird, but if you're into it, so you've always been a little, uh, you know, a little eccentric, I guess, so people that know me well, they're like, oh, you're working with bugs, okay, that, that's cool. <laughs> Are you guys ready for this? Hey guys, welcome to my home kitchen. Hallelujah! <laughs> Black and caviar. This is where a lot of the magic and actually R&D happens for Brooklyn Bugs. You guys hear that? That is the sound of glory. Bug appetit, guys. Hi, my name is Joseph Yoon and I am the chef and executive director of Brooklyn Bugs in the best place in the world, Brooklyn, New York. If you think about what I'm doing with edible insects, I'm disrupting the comfort zone of something that people have to do every day. We all eat. So I would love to show you guys the different applications and the diversity of how you can incorporate edible insects into your uh, into your cooking. So today we are going to make one of my infamous dishes, cricket crusted fried chicken. A lot of people think like, oh, do you eat bugs every day, every meal? It's like, no, do you eat steak every day? Come on, stop it. I'm not a bug pusher. Mm. All right, guys, it is the moment of truth. Will the glory be there? Will I feel the hallelujah? Mmm. That crust is nice and crispy. The seasoning gives it a lot of savoriness. And that cricket just lends a perfect extra note of nuttiness. I feel like this is my calling. Brooklyn Bugs, we, we consider ourselves edible insect ambassadors and advocates. We are not saying you should only eat edible insects, eat edible insects every day, save the world. That is not what we're saying. What if you were to eat edible insects once a week? Even that would have a tremendous impact on our environment. That is what we're trying to do to normalize edible insects, to raise awareness and appreciation for them, to help people understand why the UN endorses edible insects as a solution for addressing food scarcity, about sustainability and nutritiousness. It is a win. Nitrogen scorpions and crab cakes. And we're gonna torch these up and it gives it like just like a nice rounded flavor. Well, there's a great misconception that you can just pick up a bug and eat it. And I understand sometimes my friends say it like to joke when they're like, oh, I got I, there's a bug in my salad, Joseph. Look, cool, right? You wanna, should I eat it? I'm like, no, you're, you're totally missing the point that these insects are farmed and harvested for human consumption. It is a nutritious form of protein but we need to come up with new words for this. We need to come up with a new understanding, a new perception that will help people to separate the idea of that, that the bug in your house is what we're eating. So here we have Manchurian scorpions, uh, torch Manchurian scorpions with crab cakes and a little dollop of uh, aioli. The UN came out with their FAO report to Food and Agricultural Organization in 2013 and it addressed the issue primarily of food scarcity and how are we going to feed the world's population in 2050. They are projecting that it will be, the world's population in 2050 will be about 9.5 billion. And so with those projections, we are gonna have to drastically increase the amount of protein in the world. And their answer was with edible insects. Uh, get 
down, eat some bugs. I'm ready, man. Let's do this. I am a slut for chefs. Um, I'll do another one just so I don't say the word slut. I love this slut. Oh, you do? Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, right. So, okay, I was like, oh, I, I was thinking the whole time, like, oh, that, that'll probably be inappropriate content. This is kind of like the, the new one. But, but, you know, every time I have an opportunity to meet a chef and to introduce what I'm doing, I will take advantage of it. Hi, I'm Joseph Hewn. I work at Brooklyn Bugs. I work at Double Oats. That's what do you know about bugs. You want to try some bugs? They're very sustainable. You want to endorse them. Um, yeah, I think you, you're a really great chef. What do you want to know? Do you want my phone number? Here's my card. Thank you. Oh, I think I did that in 15 seconds. <laughs> wow, that's a lot, chef. Do it. <laughs> no fear. No fear. I encourage a lot of other chefs to get involved. We would love to engage as many chefs as possible. I want chefs to view me as a resource because I need them. I'm gonna leave you samples as well if you have, if you have time, when you have time to, to work with this. In the past, a lot of media would be creepy crawly cuisine. That's horrible, that doesn't sound appetizing. And so it shows a shift in perception right now amongst mainstream media that they are now starting to coin Anto Cuisine. And that's because that is what we're putting out there. And so that's like, the onus is on us to really push like the narrative. We are trying to get Americans to adopt eating something new for ever, 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 ever. So I just really thought that a great application and use of this tarantula would be tempera frying it Edible insects is gonna be hyper accelerated and I really believe in five to 10 years, it will be widely accepted, available at grocery stores. The fact that it is sustainable and nutritious, uh, we're all gonna be eating bugs. When it really comes down to it, what does a tarantula taste like? A tarantula. Well, this would certainly be one of the dishes that are a little more luxurious. And this is a little bit more of an educational and showing piece because at least in America, these are a little more difficult to get. These range in price from like $30 to $40 a pop. There are over 1,900 types of different edible insects right now. Think about all the incredible new flavor profiles, the different textures. There is a wealth of new stuff. Chefs, you think that, oh, I cook with foie gras, with truffles, gold flakes, caviar, the best ingredients. It's like, I challenge you. What about trying a hundred different edible insects into your repertoire? I've probably at this point worked with about 30 to 50. I'd have to count it up, but I would say like 40 to 50 probably at this point. Now, the interesting thing about this though is that we as a human race have been eating insects since the beginning of time and we have never stopped eating insects. The Western world stigmatized that practice, but in fact, 80% of the world's nations already eats edible insects. It is not this marginalized, apocalyptic food source. Bugs, baby! This will be the best tempura tarantula that you ever eat in your life. Welcome to the first ever Bugs Giving. It is like just, it's changed my life. I mean, it's completely changed my life. Every single bite matters. Every single bug matters. The victory, when they do get to that scorpion, because they build up their courage, they see their friends, maybe they had a couple of drinks, and they already ate like the crickets and ants, they're like, I can take down that scorpion. 
that victory, that sense of accomplishment, because what happens is that people don't think they can eat it, and then they eat it, and they have overcome a fear. They have accomplished something. And so for me to be a part of that and offer that victory for somebody, that is the jazz of life. That's like my heartbeat. Some people call it arrhythmia. I call it the jazz in my soul. And I just, I, I just have to embrace it. That's it for this episode of Food Curated. I'm Liza DeGia. Be sure to connect with us on social media and eat more stories. I'll see you next week.